Well, that's St Dovnog's Church, so that means I'm back in Plant Rider, out on another walk. Bit of a different route today. I normally go up through the back of St Dovnog's, past the Holy Well, or up that way, but today I'm heading up this way, towards the Glen. Just makes it a bit, bit of a longer route and also I'm sort of doing it anti-clockwise ish a bit different anyway I'll be heading my way back through Coid Mauer but heading down I normally head my way up through Coid Mauer anyway beautiful day I think this is the best day of the week so out and about on a walk let's look it over towards the Cludians and just in the foreground there <laughs> the usual on a North Wales country walk if you had smell of vision absolutely stinks but you get used to it anyway keep going As you could see on the clock of St Dovnog's just before 10 a.m. in the morning and got the white hat on because it's going to get hot it's going to get very hot today the UVs are going to rise as well and uh, so yeah white hat reflect the UV rays and I've been doing a lot of walks recently in or in and about Sandrider it's in North Wales by the way just two miles outside of Denby in North Wales and it's good it's a nice little so it's only small only a small little village but beautiful views once you start climbing looking back well not so much where I am now but I'll gain a bit of height in a minute climbing now and you get Fantastic views of all towards Denby, looking back and towards the Cludians and, and the Vale of Cluid and what have you. But yeah, and I've always liked my walking, always done it for years and years and years. Um, and when I say walking, I mean walking um, LDW, long distance walking. And I used to do one every year. Called the Open to Offers. It was the Outround Offers Dyke. Uh, Mole Van Mai and Mole Arth and Sass talking of Mole Van Mai. That's Mole Van Mai there. The Jubilee Tower. Um, yeah, it's uh, Mole Arth, uh, Mole Van Mai. Uh, Penaclothia as well did that. Starts off from Kilkin, it's the back of the Cluden Range. And it's 21 miles. 21 mile long distance walk and you're talking, you know, it's not flat, you're talking, you're climbing, you're gaining a lot of height. And to do that every year is to get sponsored um, for cancer research. And I used to make a few quid. And one year, I think it was just under 200 entries. And I was second, which is quite good, that. But like I say, I can, uh, I can walk, I can do my... My bit of walking. I go to Betos a lot. I haven't been to Betos for a few months back now. But I do the old Gwyn Valley and all that. Um, or the Gwydir Forest. And you're talking. Just looking back towards Denby there now. Just make out the quarry. And a bit of Denby itself. That's Denby Quarry. Yeah, when I go to Betos. I'll do, it'll be a minimum 10 mile, 10 mile walk, um, you know, 10, 15 mile, something like that, well into my walking, I can just keep going and going and going, talking of that, if I can pick it out, there's Denby Castle, just see the top of it there, poking out through, just zoom out, the Gwynyai which contains the 
goblin tower. Not that I talk about it. But yeah, you can see I'm gaining height now. Beautiful cracking views. But yeah, anyway, so I thought I'd do this route. It's just a bit of an extension and then I rejoin back through the um, Coid Mow, which is big wood. You can see now, I've just been talking, what, five, ten minutes and see they just gained that little extra bit of height and the views you get. Anyway, let's keep going. That's another thing about these walks. It's the wildlife that you see and hear. Can't beat it. Look at that for a view. The Cluidians and the Cluidian, or the Vela Cluid. Cluidians in the background there. But there again, someone in these big cities, be look at them, that, and, and they'll be saying, bloody hell, look at that. And we'll look at it and say, what? What have you seen? You know, because we just get so used to it. Amazing, isn't it? Anyway, they look fluid. Yes, yeah, so like I say, yeah, anyway, that's um, uh, open to offers. It wasn't a race when I said I was second. It's not, a, it's just, a, you know, you can get sponsored, you don't have to, but I used to. Um, but it wasn't, it's not a race, you just do it at your own pace, and it's just that I, I've got a quick walking rate, and, I, you know, I was second, like, which was quite good, that, I've, in about, I'm sure it was about 198, we're in it, you know, so, anyway, enough of that. Keep going. Beautiful day. Look what I can see. The mental. Oh, top of the front buildings at least. But that's another place I never talk about the mental. <laughs> well, press once or twice. About three or four times. Oh, about 500,000 times, probably. Right. Turning point. Prion, one and a half. Llanrider, where I've just come from, one. Denby, Dimbich, one and a half. And I'll be heading this way. Not all the way to Prion, just, uh, I don't know, probably about half a mile. Then I'll be turning off then, heading down Coid Maur. And heading down this way too, instead of climbing. And as you can see, some of these country lanes, very narrow. Not only for cars, but for people walking, if a car or something come down now. And that's another thing, it's flies. Um, I'd have to get right into the side, but fortunately enough, these roads are very quiet. Um, and actually, you can see if I, the pace that I'm walking, pretty fast, and it doesn't show on camera, but I'm actually climbing. And I, like I said before, I have got a very fast, Walking rate. So I always remember when I was in school, I used to go on these walks and out in oh, it's a welcome breeze. Nice and cool in the shade too. And like I said, we used to go on these walks and the teachers always used to tell me to slow down. The kids couldn't keep up with me. I've always walked fast. Just my way. Anyway, back out in the sun now. And it is warming up too. Okay, that road there uh, leads, uh, leads down to the Rider, but I'll be heading off towards Coid Mower now. Like I said earlier, I'm usually come towards me back this way, like, but uh, doing it the opposite way today.
which makes a change. And that's looking back towards Denby. And from here, guess what I can see? The Goblin Tower. <laughs> Not that I ever mention it. Anyway, heading into Coyd Mower now. Should be a bit cooler, although it's probably full of flies, but still. Anyway, keep going. Okay, I am now actually on the old Bryn Morvid golf course, or one of them. I used to have a nine holder and an 18 hole golf course. No longer here now, of course. So Bryn Morvid is over in that direction there, which uh, is closed now for many years. It used to be a very popular with wedding receptions and all that. But like I say, this used to be one of the golf courses. Bryn Morvid Hotel. Sunny Clan Driver. Well, I think it's time for a cold one. <laughs> oh yes, beautiful. Right, heading down now was the dark wood. Scary stuff. Okay, just joining the road now. Bryn Morvid is just up there. But I'm heading down into the dark wood. Doesn't matter how bright or sunny a day it is, this place is always pitch black. It's so dense. It probably, I like, like filmed it before. Probably doesn't show up so, up so much on camera. But I've uh, nicknamed it the Dark Wood. It is bloody dark inside there. And it's a really bright sunny day today. And like I say, it probably doesn't show up looking on my screen. Doesn't show up as dark as it really is. You can take it from me. It's very dark in there. Hence, I call it the dark wood. It's only a small little place, but uh, anyway, I'll be leaving the dark wood in a second. That is St. Dovnog's Holy Well. And contrary to what some people think, it's not a Roman bath. It's nothing to do with the Romans. <laughs> so I don't slip and fall in. Yeah, that's uh, Dovnog's Holy Well. Anyway, not far from St. Dovnog's Church now, just a few hundred yards through the woodland. Oh, 
Well, I'm back at St Dovnog's Church, so that means it's the end of the walk. And it's been a beautiful day too. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again.